When was the last time that you diagnosed a patient with floppy eyelid syndrome? You may not think that's an important conversation to have, but you could potentially save someone's life. Check out this clip to see what I'm talking about. What does this patient have? One of my hero conditions, floppy eyelid syndrome, associated with sleep apnea. What's the worst thing that can happen with sleep apnea? You stop breathing, right? And so that's why we want to treat the sleep apnea. And oftentimes you're the first person to diagnose this. You ask the patient, you, you, know, you tell them to look down, you pull on their upper eyelids, and it just goes almost all the way to their ear. And that's how you know, huh, okay, this is floppy eyelid syndrome, right? And in these patients, you can order a sleep test for them and help start them down the path. We have one doctor in our practice who's like diagnoses like five of these every six months and sends them for sleep study, and he gets cookies and brownies back from the patients. Now, oftentimes we're gonna see these patients in our clinic because floppy eyelid syndrome, they're gonna wake up, right, with irritation. And it can be so severe that they look like this, right? This was a patient who had floppy eyelid syndrome, and it was rubbing, basically the eyes were everting at night, rubbing against the pillow, and the patient had an allergic reaction, and so boom, this is what the patient had, severe, severe chemosis. This patient actually had so, so quiz right now, floppy eyelid syndrome associated with sleep apnea. Sleep apnea associated with what ocular conditions? Floppy eyelid syndrome, normal tension glaucoma, NAION, keratoconus. And so this patient was trying to put a scleral lens in and couldn't put their scleral lens in the morning when they were waking up. And so we had to like tape her eye at night um, and then considered eyelid surgery too as well. We had a PCP here in San Antonio uh, say, you know, Bobby, I had, um, I've had six patients pass away for, with floppy eyelid syndrome in the past six months. They just stopped breathing. I'm like, wow, okay, we got to nail this diagnosis. As I'm hey guys, I hope you enjoy the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to Kim K's new clinic power up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.